Hey Sagittarius, welcome back. My name is Heidi. I start the sauce. If you're new here, this is a purely Sag channel. And um, yeah, so I'm glad you're here and I'm so grateful for the growth of this channel. I owe it to y'all. So thanks for showing up. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to it. So what this reading is about is <clears throat> what you can expect from all the signs this week. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be about love. This could be friends. This could be family. This could be coworkers. You know, anyone you have connections or relationships with, that's where it's at, Saj, okay? <laughs> so let's get into first the overall energy, but I will timestamp according to element. So, you know, fire, water, earth, air. So you can look in the description for that if you want to go to each you know quickly or you want to watch the whole video that is great too of course that's what I want but these will be quick messages you know it's not going to be like a long story for each sign so let's get to it Saj. so the overall energy is seeing signs serendipity um you're probably in a very intuitive time because, you know, we're in Sagittarius energy right now. We have the full moon for the next few days. But it's kind of um, seeing signs that things are going to start to work out. Now, this could have to do with people who haven't been talking to you or relationships that haven't been working. Um, suddenly, there there's going to be a turn and it's a happy turn, right? could be happy news. And what you're being asked to allow is just allow the happiness to come in. Sometimes we get so caught up in what happened and we you know, want people to atone, blah, blah, blah. But they're kind of telling you if you just let things be happy, it will set you free. <laughs> it will set you free. And, you know, believe it or not, with loneliness, like... You know, we can hold on to things that make us mad. We can hold on to the things that happened and be alone. Or we can just let happiness in. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Saj. So I'm using a different deck for each element. Um, and we're going to start with fire signs. So it will be fire, water, earth, air. To see what you'll be dealing with. Yeah, this is your heads up. <laughs> On the bottom is the chariot for the fire signs with the nine of pentacles and the page of swords. It could be that, you know, you're receiving a gift from a fire sign or you're getting good news from a fire sign. But there is a sense of working together towards success. Okay, but that's underneath the deck. So let's see. Sagittarius, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, here's what you can expect this week. What can Sagittarius expect from Sagittarius? Ooh, Knight of Cups. What can Sagittarius expect from Sagittarius? I was really feeling compromised with this. What can Sagittarius expect from Sagittarius? Here we go. Mm. Um, there's growth here for sure. And, you know, there's a sense of really, I feel like you might be coming to a compromise because you want things to work out with a Sagittarius. Um, so kind of focused on what do we need to change in order to make things grow? What change needs to happen here? And you may be coming to a creative solution or a, um, or a compromise, you know, meeting in the middle in terms of what needs to change to make things grow. And it's going to be successful with the Wheel of Fortune being here. Okay. Yeah, Page of Pentacles on the bottom, focused on growth. Okay, so what can Sagittarius expect from Aries this week? So there's a sense that things will really be turning around, which is nice. 
What can Sagittarius expect from Aries? What can Sagittarius expect from Aries in the upcoming week? What can Sagittarius expect from Aries in the upcoming... Oh, sorry, y'all. Ooh. What can Sagittarius expect from Aries? Ugh. I feel like it. <laughs> God. Do you hear that? <laughs> so, Sagittarius, if you are dealing with an Aries, they're, you're waiting for them to make a decision. Okay? Maybe make a decision about this relationship. But there's a sense that this, that they're kind of, um, they have, because Aries does have a specific way of thinking, right? With the Hierophant. They, and I feel like this person might actually, um, like a commitment's very important to them. They could also be non-committal, to be honest, with the Two of Swords reversed. Um, but, you know, I just feel like this person for a long time would not make a decision maybe they still can't make a decision right because they're not really seeing things they're not really seeing it you know <laughs> they're not <laughs> but they may be in the future because we have the six of pentacles with justice on the bottom so they may in the future i feel like this person actually didn't want to face um that you that you had such a close connection or you know were soulmates or whatever you know <clears throat> and so it could be one minute they're saying you know they want to be with you the next minute they're saying i don't know you know and it all has to do with with their views on commitment which may be outdated beliefs beliefs that we're giving to them you know, because the Hierophant also deals with patriarchy. You know, they may, when it comes to relationships, you know, they kind of move in ideas that were given to them. Traditional ideas, probably passed down by family. All right. <laughs> so if Sag is dealing with a Leo, what can they expect this week? What can Sagittarius expect from Leo? So Aries isn't making a decision, Sag. <laughs> They're dealing with some beliefs that they have. So, you know, I don't know. You might be wanting to be careful around Aries. <laughs> so what can Sagittarius expect from Leo this week? What can Sagittarius expect from Leo this week? Very nice. What can Sagittarius expect from Leo? This could be about friendship, too. Oh, jeez. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. It was going so good, Sag. <laughs> jeez. So, I mean, I feel like you're trying to improve things with Leo. Um, the Eight of Wands with the Three of Cups, trying to make things better and, and kind of saying to Leo, well, you know, um, come see me. Let's get together. Let's work this out, you know. And Leo's saying that I feel like they're so stuck on their way. Like, or on the way they think things should be. Because we're seeing the Eight of Swords with the Nine of Wands reversed. So, it's kind of like they won't compromise. They won't see things your way. They, you know, and they don't really feel like this, like this can actually work out. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, they're in Four of Swords energy. They've like completely <sighs> I mean, they're even, you know, they may have pulled away from you and they are trying to think about how things, you know, how problems can be overcome and I feel like you want to help them. But I feel like they're so stuck in their in their side, in their way of thinking, um, that it it is blocking it. Jeez, oh, Louise. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move on to water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius. What's on the bottom? Two of Wands, the Magician, and the Eight of Cups. In the tower oh so it's kind of I feel like water signs may be trying to work things out with you um, which comes after you know because all of a sudden they see how valuable you are <laughs> okay so Sagitt what can Sagittarius expect from Scorpio this week what can Sagittarius expect from Scorpio this week? Nine of Wands. What can Sagittarius expect from Scorpio? Okay. What can Sagittarius expect from Scorpio? Oh, very nice. If you're dealing with a Scorpio in some way, um, I feel like there's been a lot of confusion, but it's coming out of that period. Um, there's a sense of figuring things out now. A Scorpio may have been like, um, had pulled their energy back because they kind of felt the need to protect their energy. And now they feel really hopeful. Now, I, I, I kind of sense like maybe if there is like water under the bridge between you and the Scorpio, you know, they've taken some time to figure things out, figure out how this can work, how it can go the distance. How can we put this behind us? And I feel like they're feeling really positive right now because they've really been relying on their intuition and they really have figured out how to make this happen. Um... So I would expect to hear from the Scorpio soon because, you know, the star is a wish fulfilled. It's a fresh start. Okay, so let's see. So if you're dealing with a Pisces, and I know it's going to sound really strange, but Sagittarius actually has a lot in common with Pisces. We just tend to not see that because we move so much differently. Okay, so what can Sagittarius expect from Pisces this week? The chariot. Oh. What can Sagittarius expect from Pisces this week? Sagittarius expect from Pisces this week? Wow. Progress. Sag. Progress. I mean, I feel like if, you, if you're dealing with a Pisces in any way, they walked away. Um... basically has to do with challenges um and i i kind of feel with the queen of pentacles i mean could that have been an extra person i don't know i feel like with the queen of pentacles and the five of swords they definitely sabotage things um but i kind of feel like they may have been a little intimidated by you okay so let's get to it 
So the chariot's here with the knight of wands reversed and the three of wands. And this person, I feel like they're, they've been determined to change, change their patterns, change. Because the knight of wands reversed is, is not really great. <laughs> they had bad behaviors. You know, they're impulsive, maybe even angry, and they're determined to move on from that. You know, and with the Three of Wands, that that is that too is a new cycle. Oh, the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Like, I feel like this person wants to come back. I feel like they want to express love to you. Um, I feel like what stands between you and this person. Okay, so we see the Chariot and the Three of Wands. Like, there is determination here, right? But there's also anger. There's also anger and bad behavior and impulsive decisions. And so I do feel as if this person's been working on that and they want, they want to come to you. They're actually, you think of nothing but that. Um, Ace of Wands, wow. Um, it's, it, it's really a matter of them they may be needing to get over this anger with the Knight of Wands reverse. I feel like this person's mad at themselves, Saj, for things that they did. Interesting. Interesting, Saj. But with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords and the Tower, they are coming back because the Six of Cups is here. It might take a little while. You know, Pisces, they move slow. But generally, they're dealing with with facing what they did. Whatever that is, facing what they did. You know, it could be bad patterns. It could be behaviors, right? Yeah, I feel like Pisces is really sitting with themselves right now. Okay, so let's take a look at Cancer. Sag, Sagittarius is dealing with cancer. What can they expect this week? What can Sagittarius expect from cancer? And, and basically, I just want to, you know, this is how I get downloaded, y'all, as far as the Pisces thing. Um, it, in order for them to come back, they have to get through the anger and be able to see the good things. Just saying. Okay. Cancer. If Sagittarius is dealing with cancer. Oh, justice. Okay. Eight of Wands. Okay. Some course correction here. Oh. Okay. So if you are dealing with a cancer, they're coming and coming in quickly to um, make something right from the past. You may be having dreams about this person. Um, and yeah, this is about timing. They know the time is now. They're going to do it now. So you may be hearing from a cancer quickly. Quickly. Okay. So let's get on to earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what's on the bottom is interesting. Is the four of swords. Um, at reverse with the wheel of fortune. Um, and the empress. So there's definitely healing going on here. Okay. So Sagittarius, what can Sagittarius expect from Taurus this week? What can Sagittarius expect from Taurus? What can Sagittarius, oh, temperance already. What can Sagittarius expect from Taurus? Ugh, geez. What can Sagittarius, oh, hmm, interesting, 
it's very interesting the way these cards came out. Because <laughs> it's like they didn't come out reverse. They didn't come out sideways. Okay. So, um, there could be a Taurus that is asking or wanting forgiveness from you or maybe just wanting peace to come in, wanting you to be patient with them. Um, so it's weird because I kind of feel like they're going to give you an apology of sorts. It's not going to seem like a real apology. It's not going to seem like a whole apology, you know, um, because their, their energy is a little weird, <laughs> a little topsy turvy, right? So it's, it's like, it's not that they're not apologizing, but it's not that they are apologizing. <laughs> and, and I kind of feel like they just don't want to go over it again, right? So, I don't know, Saj, will, will that be okay with you? I'm not sure. Um, I feel like the whole thing just pretty much confuses you. You don't know what to do with it. <laughs> with the Knight of Wands. You don't know what to do with it, but, you know, at the same time, with the King of Pentacles and the Sun, I just... And the Six of Swords. You're just ready to move on from it. Um, so even though you may not be getting the apology that you deserve, I feel like you don't care. <laughs> because maybe you sense that their energy is a little, you know, like a little three quarters out of the way. Is the, is the best way I could think to say that. So, what can Sagittarius expect from Virgo? What can Sagittarius expect from Virgo? Sagittarius. What can they expect? What can Sag expect from Virgo this week? What can Sagittarius expect from Virgo? The sun, okay, something's going to be clear. What can they expect from Virgo? Oh, boy. Oh, you. I feel like if you, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I just kind of feel like You're starting to understand why they did something they did, um, which may have come off as kind of um, sabotaging, but I kind of feel like this person, you know, maybe they fell off the wagon of the right thing for a little bit, but they're getting back on um, with the Knight of Pentacles. And I actually feel like this might have to do for them like trust issues. That's kind of like seeing everyone as a snake, right? <clears throat> yeah, the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like on some level they acted like a snake and now they're getting back on the right track. Um, and with the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, kind of, you know, trying to work things out and... You know, let's make bygones be bygones, right? <laughs> Can things be good again is basically the question with Virgo. Because Virgo did this. And, you know, it's interesting with this card because it's Medusa, right? Because Medusa felt like she was betrayed. That's why she turns men to stone or whatever. And I kind of feel like... <clears throat> That's how Virgo may move. Now, is that with you or do they just always think someone's going to betray them? You know, in this scenario, that's kind of what I'm feeling like. Okay, Capricorn. What can Sagittarius expect from Capricorn? 
in the upcoming week. What can Sagittarius expect from Capricorn? Temperance again. Boy, this Sagittarius energy is affecting everybody. What can Sagittarius expect from Capricorn? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Temperance, King of, Pen King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. <sighs> All right, Sag. I kind of feel like you're not going for this because we're seeing the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Swords on the bottom. Uh, but let's get to it. Temperance, the King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want to come back. Um, it, they realize that their heart is with you even though they went to someone else because the queen of pentacles can often represent the other person or the other woman, that kind of energy, especially it being with the 10 of wands. And, you know, if it isn't another person, they just weren't loyal to you in some way. And now they want your forgiveness. They want to come back. They, they realize a lot of things. You know, maybe they did this out of a place of insecurity because sometimes the King of Cups can be that. Um, it's with the Seven of Wands, with the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. And you, I, I kind of feel like you're defensive and you're like, what do you want me to do here? What do you want from me? You know, I'm getting over what you did. Interesting. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so let's move on to Gemini Libra Aquarius. Let's see. Oh, I'm just trying to make these cards right, y'all. Gemini Libra Aquarius and Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect from Gemini? What can Sagittarius expect from Gemini in the upcoming week? The Fool, okay. What can Sagittarius expect from Gemini? Gemini wants to take you on a trip, Sag. <laughs> One more card for Gemini. Oh, there you have it. Oh, I'm telling you, Sag. I feel like if you know a Gemini, you're dealing with a Gemini. I feel like, I feel like they want to take you somewhere. <laughs> because we're seeing the Fool, the Chariot, and the Page of Wands. Like, it could be that they were holding back from you. Maybe, um, maybe they had other options, but they were, I kind of feel like confused because they were afraid to be hurt. And now they're either, either coming towards you or you're going on a trip. I can't say it more plainer than that. <laughs> yeah. Five of wands and the world. I feel too like you might have resisted this person but you kind of are giving in at this point okay Libra what can Sagittarius expect from Libra what can Sagittarius expect from Libra Sagittarius expect from oh. wow they came out all at once the fool the nine of wands the page of wands and the seven of pentacles I 
I mean, this person doesn't know how um, they'll be received. Okay, but they, they, I don't know, they've kind of seen something here. They want to take a risk with you. And I feel like they may have made you wait with the Nine of Wands because I feel like this person may be afraid of risk. But with the Page of Wands, like it's so funny because they're, it's typical Libra style, like, right? Because Libra has difficulty um, making decisions because they tend to see things from both sides. And this is coming out in their messages. So they want to take a risk but they're afraid of taking a risk they want to take a risk they're hesitant <laughs> so they i feel like this lever keeps going back and forth like because i feel like they're afraid of risk basically they're and uh, but i feel like there's a part of them that wants to take a risk with you and then there's a part of them that is afraid to take the risk but at the end of the day with the three of pentacles they decide to do it they decide that this is worth the effort worth putting into you know worth working on yes and they feel inspired oh my goodness three of pentacles ace of wands and ten of cups like this literally has um you know is worth working on is worth working towards you know, um, because there's something, there's something about you, Sag, that they can't stop paying attention to. Interesting. With the Knight of Wands reversed on the bottom and the Queen of Swords, I feel like they were trying to figure out whether you were playing with them. You know, whether you were serious. And I feel like they've figured it out. Because definitely the the Queen of Wands is, you know, is Libra. And they could have received bad information about you. Kind of like people telling them that, oh, don't, you know, don't go with Saj. They don't commit to anything. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, there's Aquarius. So what can Sagittarius expect from Aquarius? What can Sagittarius expect from Aquarius? Oh. Hang in. Oh, what can Sagittarius expect from Aquarius? Oh. We hate it with the hangman, right? Because the hangman's waiting. The hangman is, you know, pulling themselves back, figuring things out. And I feel like an Aquarius has been trying to figure out whether they could give you what you need, um, whether they could meet you, right? So they haven't invested, but they're thinking about it. They have a lot of feelings for you. Okay. So I think at the end of the day, here they go, you make them feel powerful, you know, and they want that to grow. So, you know, oh, okay. And they're walking away from doubt. They're walking away from, they've made a decision here. Okay. Tell us about the eight of cups. It could be they're walking away from this hangman energy because the king of swords also holds back. So, eight of cups. Tell me more about the eight of cups. The fool. Yeah, they're going to do it. They're going to throw in <laughs> a lot of fool energy coming out. And that makes sense with, um, you know, the nodes are going into Aries in July. Okay, we're all going to be taking chances. We're all going to be taking chances. So let's get an ending energy for you, Sag. An ending energy for Sagittarius and their connections. Oh, we got a couple. Can I have an ending energy for Sagittarius? Something in closing, something that would help them. Yes. 
Sagittarius. Now I have an ending message for Sagittarius. What is the closing message? What would help Sagittarius connect with people better? Ooh. Trust your intuition um, in terms of who you give to. You know, give to what gives to you, Sag. And basically, peace. You know, um, it's pretty much telling you <laughs> to only give to your connections that bring you peace. I love that, Sag. So that's what I have for you. And I hope you enjoy this reading. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, your thoughts and toodles.